Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a day in my life working in advisory in London. I normally wake up at 7.30 or 7.40 a.m. setting an alarming alarm clock to make sure that I can get up or scared up. If I feel extra motivated some days, I'd get up at 6.30 a.m. and quickly hit the gym with the full body workout. Usually I'd put some light makeup to get ready. Looking energized will energize me to start the day fresh. Eyebrows and blush are possibly the most important part in this step. I'm really bad at doing my hair, so I normally just do a low ponytail and tidy up the small hairs with hairpins. Voila, fresh. Office policy is now three to four days a week. Dressing attire is typically business casual. Talking about this, I recently got this top from Reese and I am obsessed. The neckline, the cut, and the waist detail is not over revealing but still look very professional with a sleeveless design. Usually I take the tube to work, but today I took the bus because it's a nice day outside so I would enjoy some sunlight on my commute. I start my workday around a quarter to nine or half past eight on an early day. It's not required by the company, purely personal preference, but for me, I would just start when I reach the office. I start the day by looking into my calendar, checking what meetings I'll have for the day and whether there is anything I need to particularly prepare for. Today, I have a process update meeting on a project with client at 10.30, followed by a business update meeting on another project. In the afternoon, I've got internal catch-up at 2 to discuss the key areas and action items for the second project, followed by a doctor appointment at 3. I am the type where I'd put everything into the calendar, including prep time, lunch time, and private appointments. When there are occasions where I have very limited access to emails, I'd also set it as out of office. It also helps other people understand my capacity and availability for the day. I work on debt side of advisory, where we advise companies on securing debt financing. In simple terms, we help companies obtain funding from suitable third parties without diluting ownership. Our role involves guiding the entire process from agreeing the financing ask with client to finalizing and signing the legal funding document. A project is typically 4 to 12 weeks. During the process, the tasks we typically do are writing about the company, which we call the information memorandum, building debt models using Excel, coordinating various communications, particularly with the client and the lenders, and negotiating legal terms with lenders on behalf of the client. Today, I'm having a meeting with a lender that I'm leading, so I'd set some time aside to prep for the script and the talking points. Half 12 to half 1 is typically my lunch time. I try to bring home cooked food these days to save money and eat more healthily. After lunch, I typically have my second pick-me-up coffee of the day before entering another block time. I usually drink two coffees per day, one from the office and one from a cafe nearby. These days, I particularly enjoy the ice caramel latte from Blank Street Coffee, very nice and cheaper than Starbucks. Because I do often buy coffees outside, I made a video comparing which UK coffee chain offers the best value through their reward program. Do check it out if you're interested. Whilst we're having lunch, let's talk about team structures. The whole team is consists of partners, directors, senior managers, managers, and senior associates. Your day-to-day -day team will be your project team. A typical project team has two to three people. You'd always have a partner, then a director or a senior manager, and then a manager or a senior associates. Typically, partners and directors will be managing key client interactions with SMs leading the project and managers starting to get involved in leading conversations and cascade tasks down to senior associates. In terms of execution and review flow, managers and senior managers would typically take on more technically difficult tasks and review the essay's work before partners see the output. The partner will then leave comments after review for the team to address before the materials eventually go out to the client. The core of an advisory job is to advise. This involves a variety of correspondence. This involves communication with lenders, responding to their questions, understanding the rationale behind their offering and requests, and with clients, keep up with the latest development in their business and updating them with lender feedback. What I enjoy about the job is the variety and the balance between hard and soft skills, i.e. the technical knowledge and the interpersonal skills required. 
There is time for focus work, where you dive in deep into financial models to understand the business from a numbers perspective, and the time to engage with people, introducing them to the business and sharing what you have learned. It is almost similar to me sharing my life and experiences on this channel, but in a business context. As an introvert who would enjoy working on my own craft, I found a combination of understanding a company in depth and then use that technical knowledge to communicate its story to others is what I enjoy the most. Our working hours depends on the project that we're on, and it could vary a lot on a daily basis. Sometimes we can be off at 5:30 sharp, and there are other times we need to work late and even on weekends. You'd normally have some sense of your workload of the day, but some surprises may just happen during a transaction, which could also be fun and painful at the same time. On a good day after work, I would go home as fast as I can, make a quick soupy meal, and then work on what you are watching now. It is really my ideal dream to grow this channel. So if you do like this video, give this a like and let me know in the comments below. Explore around, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye.